Hey, what up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome back to more Demon Souls. All right, so yeah, uh, well, this is a Demon Souls walkthrough to be specific, and <laughs> it wouldn't be a Demon Souls video if I didn't start things off with a suicide jump. Whee! Wow. Yeah, perfect. Now we can get started. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for those of you guys that um, didn't watch my second video, I believe, and I explained there why I always kill myself when I'm in human form. Well, I kill myself in the Nexus, so the world's tendency doesn't change, because if you die in um, a specific world uh, in human form, it will kind of screw up the world tendency or shift to darker, okay? And then once it gets pure black or something like that, you're kind of screwed because uh, black phantoms start showing up. But anyways, for now, we're going to be taking on the 2-1 Stonefang Tunnel. And uh, you're going to want to make sure you have around 100 arrows for this player area. Um, because the boss in this area, you can fight it with melee. Or you can just cheese it with arrows and I have enough. Okay, that's good. Take off those. Okay, so up here, there's going to be a crystal lizard right there. Log on to it. Alright. He's down. Shard of Sharpstone. There's more shit in the back. Alright. And, um. Do I have a lot of stuff? Shit, I do have a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh. We gotta do this. Should have done it right from the beginning. But I'm gonna go back to the Nexus and uh, empty out my inventory so I won't get full up from all the pickups because there's quite a bit of pickups in 2-1. Um, okay. Drop off all the stuff. We don't need late moon, full moon, or dark moon yet. Actually, in all my runs, I never actually used the dark moon grass. Uh, like the... The highest level of grass I ever used was the... Um, I'm gonna need that compound bow. Yeah, the highest bow, I mean... Uh, grass I've used was... Uh, I believe it was just full moon grass. I never actually used uh, those dark moon and new moons. Compound long bow. Hopefully I can use this. You have a heart of gold. Don't ever let them take that from you. Hello again. Thank Sweet, you. I have enough. Yeah, when Dark Souls 2 DLC comes up. Oh shit. You have a <laughs> Hopefully I don't get too used to Demon Souls because um the gameplay the way the the game plays is really different. And in that game the roll, you know, you gotta time the roll a bit more differently than this one, because in this one rolls really quick. And the healing is um yeah. The healing in Demon Souls really easy because when you heal, you heal right away. But in Dark Souls, when you heal with anything, it's pretty damn slow. So you're gonna have to time that. You know the timing's different. You can't heal. Like, you can't expect to get full heal right off the bat. Dark Souls too. Okay, watch out for these rocks. Even though when they throw it down, you know how like it kind of blows up, kind of like yeah explode like that and be careful because if the rock is still like floating floating around in the area it will still damage you if you go for it if you try to run through it so be careful about that just gonna stab these guys not all of them will be as friendly as that one okay like these one with like glowy eyes these guys will hit you uh if they see you They'll try to kill you, so be careful. Ooh, Iron Knuckle. Didn't get that from my practice run. Uh, did I miss anybody? No, okay. Alright, let's head on up. Hit the switch here, activate uh, this contraption here. And uh, up there, there's gonna be a fat guy with Pyromancy and then those two uh, miners. Be careful about this guy right here. Ow. Ha, ha, ha. 
Let's see if I can... Okay. Going for the backstab. Bitch! Two hand on weapon. Kick his ass. Ooh. Be careful, he has um, fireball and if you're too close, he does use combustion. Combustion is like um, this close range fire attack, so be careful. And uh, these guys are hostile. Oh shit. Don't take them too lightly, okay? Because if there's multiple of them and then they start punching you, you can die. I've died like that before in my practice one. I was like, ah, these guys are weak. Ran into them, you know, and then there's multiple of them and they kicked my ass. Okay, so we'll grab up all these things. The crushing battle axe. Uh, pretty powerful. Really? But I think it's like a strength build weapon, so. I don't really need to worry about it. Let's see, though. Yeah, it doesn't even have any um, scaling for decks. Yeah. And we're taking this elevator thing all the way down because there's some more pickups down here. I believe it's those things that can, um, those eyes that can revert you back to human. If I recall correctly. Yep. Oh shit. I don't know if he can actually die like that. God damn it. <laughs> trying to get on trying to get back on here. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> Elevator ride taking forever. And you can't in this game, um I don't know if I mentioned it before, but you cannot climb up ladders like fast, okay? And you can't slide down ladders too, so you're gonna climb it. Real slow. It's one of the the things they improved in Dark Souls. And Dark Souls too, because you can start climbing up ladders faster. Now these guys, if you see these guys um with the bag, they'll usually drop like uh stones. A lot of stones actually. Gotta take advantage of that. Invincibility frame while you do backstabs. Oh shit, there's dogs. Oh shit, I didn't want to trigger them. I didn't want to trigger them. Oh no! I'll do a heavy attack, but die one shot. So that's the good part. Heal up. There's one more guy on the far side. I'm gonna take care of this guy before he gets pissed off. Actually, I don't know if they get pissed off if you don't mess with them. But here's a fat guy that'll get pissed off. See, he does that combustion. Thing. Ow, and it hurts. It hurts. You keep laughing, bitch. Okay, can't take this guy lightly. Is that gonna hit me? Come on. Just taking arrows to the face, like a boss. Gotta make sure to conserve my arrows though, because I don't want to waste them all on this guy. Need at least a hundred. To take down the boss in this area. It's quite a pain to be trying to fight it up close and personal, because it has a move that can uh, slow you down. Okay, up there, there's gonna be a little ambush right here. Lucky for me. Now be careful because right here there's another ambush. Hello. Can you drop anything? No? Nothing. You dropped nothing for me. That's fine. No, I believe there's a... They're not here. Probably somewhere else. Some places, I don't know, it looks kind of identical, so kind of get it mixed up. Up there, there's another fat guy we got. We can take him up close and personal. Because we're going to have to go down there anyways. Uh, once you go up there, there's going to be a drop. So, yeah. 
the soldier so make sure you keep left over here okay uh, if you keep right if you try to sprint through the bridge while in the center it'll fall and then well, it'll break and then you'll fall down there and then you're gonna have to retrace your step but we're gonna have to retrace our step well no we don't well actually we do we do but we're gonna have to pull a switch down there so if you keep left here there's gonna be like a little bridge thing and when the platform cracks the bridge is gonna the little platform is still gonna hold so you guys can sprint through that Oh shit, no, 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 no. Ow. Can get a backstab here. Oh snap. Gotcha. Crap, I didn't wanna. I didn't really want him to fall down there, but okay. Uh, I can't really use my arrows. Gonna have to conserve, conserve. I'll deal with him later. First of all, I'm gonna have to kill these guys. Alright. Wonder if the fat guy actually walks back. Oh, no. Oh, he's going somewhere. Okay, so the reason why we came down here is for this switch. This lever is gonna um, open up this gate. Which we need to get, we're gonna need to pass through this gate to continue with the, the game. Watch out for this guy. Stab his buddies too. You too. Alright, and he dropped a shitload of stone. That's why I wanted to clear out my inventory before coming to this area, because they drop a lot of stones and. The stones in this game, they have a uh, weight, and if you carry too much stone, your character is going to overweight. And you're going to start rolling like a fat dude. And I don't want to roll like a fat dude. Watch out for this guy, he'll go hostile on you if he sees you. His buddies. These guys are fairly easy to deal with. Because they don't look at you, they mostly mine. The ones with like... With those um, yellow eyes, they are more of a pain though because they come after you. Okay, and uh, clear everyone out here. Note to self: beware of the fat guy because he's still alive somewhere. I don't know where he wandered off to though. Oh, he's right here. Be a bad idea. And a Tai Kodo with a guy that goes maniac with the fucking pyro. Fire. And I attack. It's fine. My first attack at the wall. <laughs> Got a full moon grass off of it, so that's pretty nice for later on. Okay. Everyone's down. And uh, let's move on. There's gonna be a fog door up ahead. Don't need to. No need to worry. You know, this is just a regular fog door. Oh, of course, and then we have that guy right there. Not much of a threat. It's just uh, a lizard. Be careful though, because if you're too close, it will burn you. Oh, and the stone we just got. This is a pretty nice stone. Uh, I heard it's only a one, one time thing. One pickup per per run. Shard of melt stone. Melt. Yeah, it's melt stone. Um, what you can do with that stone is if you have a weapon, right, and then you upgrade it, the weapon. Uh, if you want to reset the weapon, like if you accidentally made it, um. A sharp weapon or something, and then you're like, oh, I, I wanted a regular weapon instead. You can use that to revert the, uh, the enchantment, but you gotta use one to revert the enchantment. So when you, um, when you're selecting your weapon, and then you're trying to make it like a crescent weapon, you know, or a magic weapon stuff like that, you're gonna want to be careful and make sure you choose wisely because you only have one time 
you can only like revert it back one time per, per run so yeah make sure you can serve that and there's some pickups over there what we can do is conserve arrows like this okay so these guys fell be careful do your attack okay I don't know I don't know what's what's up with those lizards on um, the bottom area yeah I don't really see the point because you can't really go down there not that I know maybe there's a way but I don't know how you can get down there and why would you even want to go down there it's pure lava <laughs> so there's no really no point and uh, we're gonna have to yeah we'll visit this area later but now let's deal with these guys okay uh, regular shield is not gonna oh shit it's not gonna block as much because they do have fire weapons there's still gonna be some chip damage coming through you block their attack okay this fog door we can worry about that later there's a little hidden area over here uh, lots of guys with uh, yellow eyes be careful they'll fight back actually all of them fight back but these guys tend to like I don't know go after you when they see you okay so there's some pickups out here too and uh, this area is gonna lead us to a, another blacksmith and this blacksmith is gonna I think he can upgrade your weapons or make boss weapons or something like that. I'm not really sure what he can do, but I know he can um, enchant your weapon with different elements. Let's grab the pickups. Okay, wait for platform. He's all the way downstairs. It's gonna be really useful because I really like this guy. Because he's got good enchantments. And before we talk to him, let's go and grab another pickup. Okay, sweet. And uh, we got everything in this area. Mm. I haven't seen you around these parts. Uh, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith? Show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Oh, okay. Want some coins, eh? Here's some coins. Uh, make sure you repair these good, okay? I don't want any holes in them. Okay, now we can upgrade our weapon, uh, which I don't really know what I can do. I don't want to upgrade this in the normal route because it doesn't really scale that good, you know. Uh, I want to go for a dex build, so I'm going to be going for... Uh, I don't know, actually. Probably go for Sharp Uchi Katana, because that's what I always go for. I know, I know Terroring has a better dex scaling, and has better bleed effect. I don't know, actually. I don't know, I might go for tearing. Gonna have to decide on that. Well done. Let me go. So yeah. Anyways, um if you guys know which one's better for Dex build, uh leave a comment. <laughs> Cause I don't really know which one's that great. Because I always just go for a sharp. Never really went for a tearing. I remember back in the day, I studied a bit of Demon Souls, and then like I was like, "Oh, sharp, sharp's better." Probably based on the damage. Didn't really focus that much on the um, scaling. I don't really know which one's better. Alright, um, so yeah, for those of you Demon Souls expert, let me know uh, which one's better. If no one comments on it, then uh, I'm just gonna go with probably sharp. 
stick with old school style, you know? Backstab your ass. Oh, sorry, did I? Gotta break your materials. Okay, grab up this item. Forgot what this is. Hard stone. Yeah, there's a lot of. I don't know what stone they, these are. Like, hard stone or something like that. And then there's another one. Sharp stone, I think. Oh, this part. Okay. If you guys want to grab some pickups right here, make sure you want to be sprinting. But note that if you do do this part right here, you're going to have to uh, run all the way back up. And I'll show you guys how to do this part. So. I'm gonna get a bit of a distance and then start running. Don't stop, start running. And you can get over here to get some treasures, a club, and some souls. Careful not to jump all the way down because there is a platform right here. And then now you can jump all the way down. Come on. Okay. So yeah, that's one treasure. Uh, very easy to miss and if you fuck this up you're gonna have to uh, exit the world and come back because <laughs> the platform is not gonna respawn just by running around and coming back you're gonna have to leave the area and then come back so yeah uh, make sure you don't fuck it up if you want those pickups mostly the the club is what's important because the other things are just souls unless you guys really like those souls then those are important too but I don't know. Or oh shit! I didn't want to go this area. I didn't want to go this area. Uh, it's okay we missed that crystal lizard because we don't have to face much danger if you come this way. Those um behind those barrels, there's a little secret passage over here. We got some crystal moon grass. If you guys got the arrows or the range attacks to spare, you guys can cheese them from here. But I don't have those things to spare, so I am not gonna bother facing those guys. See ya. Alright, here's where we're gonna need to use more of our throwing knives. Because there's more flaming lizards up here. These guys can be a bitch, though. You too. Be careful not to go too much over to that side. Because there, there are dogs beneath us. And if you go too much over there, you're going to trigger the dogs. Fuck. He burned me. So, oh shit. No, no, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this route here. <laughs> it was fire damage, god damn it. Oh shit, I keep thinking I have the throwing knife equipped. Gonna attack? Yo. Hit these guys because of um, the burning effect. It's kind of like fighting the mini smelter demon over here. Okay, there's dogs. See? It's really simple. Just block their attack and do a heavy attack. One shot. I know there's three dogs. There's one hiding down here somewhere. Oh, I hear you. And now I see you. Alright, so wasn't terribly hard over there. We got the Ed's Grindstone, I believe. If that's what it's really called. Let me make sure. Yeah, Grindstone. Grindstone, yeah. Uh, what it does is um, it, it repairs your weapon. So if, it, if it's about to break, you guys can use it. It's kind of like a repair powder, so it can repair your weapon when it's about to break. Down here, there's a shitload of those guys with like yellow eyes. So if they see you, they can attack you. Careful. There's a good amount of them. And then this guy is gonna drop us some stones because he has a bag. Which 
Yeah. Damn. See, they, sh they drop like a shitload of stones. Okay, unknown hero, so. And then the final guy over here. So remember that um, that pool of lava that we saw? Yep, now it's cleared up and we can we can take that path. Just wanted to make sure if I have the right bow equipped. Alright, uh Yeah, see, this part is still not cleared up. I don't know what the know what the point of those two guys are. But now we can come down here. Grab some pickups. Ooh, this guy <laughs> kind of scared me for a second there. A lot of sharp stone, okay. I'll just top off my HP here. Okay, next spot here is gonna be a fat guy, and then it's gonna be a—he's gonna be in a room full of barrels. He is quite of a pain to take out. <laughs> Cause he's standing in a narrow area. Hello. I don't know why he doesn't do the fireball attack again. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is bait him do a fire attack. Fire attack, please. One fire attack. Oh no, you're gonna melee? No way. You know how to melee? Get out of here! Seriously, get out of here! Fuck! <laughs> uh, it really does the melee attack. I don't know why he decided to do it today. Probably, you know, he probably knows that this is going up on YouTube. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna melee. I'm not gonna spam too much fireballs, you know. I'm gonna melee for the viewers. Alright, so right here is more of those um, throwing rocks. Uh, well, actually, it's just a barrel. Not really a barrel, it's just like a big ass rock, and this guy falls down. And he's gonna try and take you on. You think you can take me on? You out of your mind! <laughs> Alright, so that's that. That's the only enemy in this area. We're done with regular enemies. It's time for the boss fight. And uh, there's some pickups here. There's no pickups back there, I remember. Um, there's a pickup upstairs. It's over here. I can't remember what it is. God damn it. Well, it's not over here because I fell. <laughs> it's, it's up there. And you can get to it. I know because I got to it before. Come on. Sweet. It's a blade. I think it's a dagger. Not really sure what it is. We'll take a look once we take this elevator down. Now we can check out what the weapon is. Oh, it's a straight sword. It looks kind of like um, a dagger. It has a good scaling with intelligent, I believe. We here already? Well, that was a fast ride. Uh... There's a spider stone over here, I believe. I'm not really sure what it's called. Yeah, spider stone. Alright, so for this boss, we're gonna cheese it with a bow. Yeah, and uh, the world of two, the two world, two dash one, two dash two, two dash three, we're gonna, we're gonna cheese it with arrows. It's a pure arrow area here. The arrow area. Okay, so start off the boss fight, you can just hang on this wall here and then aim and uh, go at it with arrows. 
Now, if you stay in this spot, you'll be safe from fireballs, which is the most threat, the biggest threat in this um, fight. The spider webs, you're gonna get hit by it, doesn't matter because it's not gonna do that much damage. Yeah, see? It barely, it barely like. It tickles. But the biggest threat is the fire attack. You guys can melee this guy to death. But it's, uh, it's a bit tough meleeing this guy because you're gonna do some dodging. And uh, he's hogging up the whole room over there, so. Uh, if your dodging's not up to par, he's probably gonna fuck you over. And he, do he does have this, like, an AoE attack, kind of, sort of, because it covers, up it covers the whole area that you can stand while meleeing. And you're gonna have to sprint back here. And if you don't do that, you know, if you don't come back in time, he's gonna get you with that thing. And it's a pretty devastating attack. It has the potential to KO you. So what I like to do is just, you know, get some arrows. And uh, get a good bow. If you don't have a good bow, if you're using a short bow, it might take uh, around 100 arrows. Or maybe two. I don't, I don't really know. 100 arrows or 200 arrows. But if you have a good enough bow, like a long bow, long compound bow, this is really good. That's some good damage. I remember I think I used I was using a short bolt or a short compound bolt, I can't really remember. And I was only like doing uh 20 damage per hit or something like that. It took a while. But I still got it. Spamming the arrows over here. He's almost dead. Oh, okay, I got him. Sweet. Oh, by the way, the spider web stuns you, okay? Kind of, well, it doesn't really stun you, but you can't run. And you can't run either. So, it slows you down a lot. And if he gets you with that, and he tries to do his charge up fire attack, he's gonna kill you, so. Best way and the safest way, and also the easiest way to take down this boss is just grab a couple of arrows, you know, around 100, and use the compound bow to take him down. Nice and easy. And that's it, we're done with 2-1. Yes, I would like to return to the Nexus. And uh, before we start leveling up here, uh, I want to head over to 4-1 and pick up some more arrows before uh, I kill myself and level up. Because uh, the next boss, it's going to require a... Uh, a little bit more arrows, uh, around 150, 160, some, somewhere around there. So I'm going to want to use that. Silly mantis. Oh, hello. I'm... All right, so arrows, arrows, arrows. Nope, that's that. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna get a hundred right now. I have sixty-three anyways. Done. And yeah, that's pretty good. All done. Good. Let's head on back to Nexus and uh see a, how many times we can level up. Yuria the witch. She's going to be really helpful later on. Really like her. <laughs> One of my favorite NPCs in this game. Actually, that's, she might be my favorite NPC in this game. Alongside with Ostrava, but... Well, I don't really say... I don't really want to say he's my favorite because... Um, you guys will see. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Yes, then I seek soul the power. Demon inside me. Okay. I'll touch it. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Shit, I don't even have enough souls. Out, 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 main. Only level up once? Come on. That's not gonna do the trick. Let's uh, use up some souls. We don't have enough now. Thou, then. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Shit, I don't have enough still. Oh, it requires. Okay, I got him. 
I fucked it up. Looked at the wrong side. There you go. Yeah, I have enough now. Okay, enough for one level. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Beautiful. Art thou done? Thou art done. Alright, so yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me get to my beautiful spot here where I end the video. Come on. No. Not a good angle. <laughs> Alright. Okay, beautiful. I'm just. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys and gals, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Grandpas and grandmas, moms and dads, brothers and sisters. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful. And join me next time when I take on more Demon Souls. Yeah, I'll see you guys then. Holmes, out.